Oh, it is hard to find the trend manually using this data. There are a lot of complexities. Have you felt anything like this whilst using data? Then be calm, I have a solution for you. Here is your solution. It's called Boxplot. In this video, I'm going to explain Boxplot and its important uses. Come on guys, let's begin. Boxplot is a useful way to visualize data and make educated decisions. First of all, we have to know how a box plot looks like and what are the parts of a box plot. For that, let's check the anatomy of box plot in detail. Box plot is simply a rectangular box with two whiskers, as in the illustration. Consider a situation where we have a number of sample data available and we're going to construct a box plot. Whilst constructing box plot using collected samples, rectangular box encloses the middle half of the orderly sample, including median and the two whiskers enclose samples other than the middle half, including maximum and minimum values at the end. A line is drawn across the box at the sample median. The crossbar at the far end of each whisker is optional and its length signifies nothing. The box plot shown above is a symmetrical one because the median lies in the middle of the box and the whiskers are equal in length. A box plot can take horizontal or vertical orientations. Let's check an example. We have an orderly sample space given below. Here, median is 60. Then, box plot looks like this. OK, now the structure of box plot is clear to you, right? Let's discuss its uses. There are mainly three important visual uses of box plot. They are detection of possible bias, identifying possible abnormal samples, group comparisons. I'm going to illustrate various uses of box plot by certain case studies here. Number one, detection of data bias. The shape of the box plot can help you to identify study bias. Let's check with a situation. For example, in predicting the 2008 Iowa caucus primary election results, a phone survey said that Hillary Clinton would win, but instead Obama won. Where did they go wrong? The survey was based on landline phones, which was skewed to older people who tended to support Hillary. However, lots of younger people got involved in this election and voted for Obama. The younger people could only be reached by cell phone. Here, the box plot shows biased or skewed data. A skewed or biased asymmetrical box plot looks like this, with the median line gravitated to the minimum or maximum, and whiskers lengths are not similar. Biased or skewed data can lead to wrong conclusions or decisions. Number two, identification of abnormal samples. The second use of box plot is the identification of abnormal outlier samples. Outliers may be caused by a lab error or by the sample itself. Tukey, who invented the box plot, defined a mathematical way to identify abnormal samples. Technically, these data are called outliers. What is an outlier? Let's check with the situation. Consider the scenario of collecting and testing of surface soil samples to determine safety and some of the samples were collected from a battery post. These particular samples will show awkward results that are very different from the rest of the samples and may suggest a lead poisoning situation. These odd data samples are called outliers in box plot. Thus, possible outliers may not be part of the population or caused by errors, and therefore deserve further investigation because they may lead to wrong conclusions or decisions. Obviously, the graphic presentation of data using box plot is an excellent way to spot possible outliers. Number three, group comparison. The third use of box plot is visual group comparison. If two boxes do not overlap in the box plot graph, then 
there is a significant difference between the two groups. Comparing groups can help you in selecting the best medication, best car or best job, or best of something else. Here, also, I'm creating a situation. There are three drugs, one, two and three, available in the market to control corona. A medical practitioner distributed these three drugs uniformly to all his corona patients, such that only one drug per patient. After some days, he checked all of his patients for coronavirus and the test results collected, plotted in a box plot. The plot was given below. In the light of this graph, three drugs were compared to control and to each other, where control is the patients who were treated with a standard level of care. When we analyse the graph, we can see that drug 1 treated group overlaps with control showing drug 1's incapability to provide a meaningful cure. In contrast to drug 1, the boxes representing drugs 2 and 3 groups didn't overlap, suggesting a significant difference from control plot. Drug 3's box was also higher and not overlapping with drug 2's box. Therefore, we can make a conclusion like this. Drug 1 is incapable of providing a meaningful control of the virus. Drug 2 is capable of controlling the virus, however its effectiveness is less than drug 3. Drug 3 is capable and showing the best effectiveness amongst all tested drugs. This is the basic detail about BoxPlot. I believe all of you enjoyed this session. Thank you guys.